What's up guys, back to another kind of super video, and in today's video we are going to go over the reroll tier list for Festival Chris. Two things. First off, this is going to be very similar to the Overlord tier list because Fest Chris came out pretty much right after Overlord, but I'm making this video anyway because it'll probably be a little bit before I make a next one because I like to make them during collabs and when the festival characters come out. So I think the festival characters are a good sort of stopping point to reevaluate units. Um, they come out pretty much just every couple months. Oh, sorry, not a couple months. Probably like give it like four ish, three to five ish months. Um, but because of that, I think they are a good point. So. You know, keep the tradition going, even though Overload was just recently. We're going to have the Chris version. This will be helpful for those of you as well. Um, if you're rerolling on this one, which I know a lot of people are playing because of Chris. Also, side note, when I logged into Konosuba, um, I did my ad daily today. And ironically, the ad was Star Rail, which I thought was really funny because I just made a video saying I was making Star Rail content um, the other day. So, very interesting. Also, I'm very excited for that live stream. Um, a lot of cool stuff. I still have to get myself, like, integrated in, like, the, you know, um, top secret stuff. Because I would love to know more. But, you know, anyway, regardless of that, let's get into the tier list. So, if it wasn't obvious, Chris is best character in the game. She is... I mean, there might be for debate on JP, you know, I'm not entirely sure, but she should still be the best character in the game on JP. I just, just insanely good unit. She's in her own tier, named after Chris. Unfortunately, Maid Leah got knocked down with the other people. She's not worse or anything, but she can't hang with Chris. Sorry, there's only one best unit in that's good with Chris, but... Aaliyah is still really good. And then we have the four legendary characters, which are Aqua, Darkness, Kazuma, and Megumi. The reason for this, Aqua is just insanely good. She's ran on like almost every team that she can that would make sense. She heals, she has cooldown reduction, healing ult, healing basic, just gauge up. She's just utility to the max. She's pretty much some similar role to Chris as Chris is used for her utility. She has so many options um, that are good. And then Aqua kind of has the same thing. Um, Darkness, really good for light. Just in, like insta win for dungeons. So she's still up there. Cosma, really good in lightning. Not really used much else, but since, you know, he's still really good. I thought I'd keep him up there. In reality, he probably gets to go down here with Chris as he's limited to like the one element. Um, but he still is pretty good. Um, I've seen a few people run him in story mode. He just does damage, really. So I'll keep him up there. I'll be, I'll be generous. I'll be generous because I do think he is slightly better off than Wiz as he is, you know, a must unit in his element. Then Megumi, she is just, you know, does Megami things, and she also has a Crimson Demon buff, which is really useful. I've actually used it a past couple arenas, just threw a Crimson Demon to the team together, hit auto, got good results, so she stays up there. And then we have the four general pool units that make it up there, which are Inumiya, very, very good unit, has a debuff block, so if your enemy boss hits you with a debuff and she has her ability up, you're good, it blocks it. Uh, Yakuta Union, very good. If you have Ainz, her and Ainz are best friends. They like to hang out together, do a lot of damage. Then we have the Mitsurugis. Mitsurugis are really good. Um, Kempo, funny enough about that. Um, oh, no, it's not the Kempo, is it? You know, it's, it is Kempo, okay. Um, I actually pulled him recently for fire, and I, funny enough, I'm not using him just because I don't have made Leah. Um, I've been hard um, gunning it for mages still, but I do really like both of them. Then the tier under that is the Red Shred, Party, Trait, and the Elemental Buffers. These are Lightning for Miru, Water for Chris, Earth for Melissa. They are the Red Shred characters. Leah is also the Fire Red Shred, but she's so good she gets a tier above. And then we have Party Buffers, which are Veneer for Earth, Cosmo for Fire, Melissa for Wind, and Idol Miru for light then the only elemental buffer we have is casual leah she buffs wind so 
with these, these are going to be more arena based. So with the exception of Veneer, because Veneer is just really good on his own, these are units you're going to want to pull when you start getting serious for arena or want to do a lot of damage in arena. You can also use these characters in stuff like events. If let's say they're weak to, you know, water, you know, you're probably going to bring Chris for red stretch to do more damage. But generally, these units are not used on anywhere else besides, you know, the event they're weak to and arena. But they're so good, you probably want to pick them up. Then we have limited characters. So these are the limited characters on the banner. Wiz is down here because I don't think she is in a good spot. You don't really use her on water and don't really have any reason to use her outside of water. Unlike Cosmo, who is actually just good in his element. Then we have Megami, Yin Yin, and Wiz. I will say Megami's good and all, but... She's just re-zero with more damage, and she's not super crazy or needed. It's just nice to have her. Or, yeah, sorry, Megami. Yun Yun. Um, Yun Yun is a unit. She doesn't really do too much. I've used her and just haven't found too much success. She can, like, do stuff. She has a gauge up skill, but it's not a lot. And then Christmas Wiz is still really, really good. But not good enough i use her she's starting to like see where from being how old she is she is you know pretty old um i don't think it's been a year it's been longer than a year right i can't remember when other crit the other chris sorry the other whiz came out but she's starting to show some age so I will be knocking her down. Still good if you pull these units, they are limited, so you can't get them on normal banners. And by the way, if you're wondering where Darkness is, she is down here. Uh, she's just not good at all, even though she is limited. So do know that this Darkness is limited, but you're never ever going to use her. Now, let's scroll down a bit to reveal the rest of the characters. So these, every single character here besides Darkness, of course, is General Pool. Now... I'm going to start at the bottom because it'll be easier to explain. Fake and bad. Um, I say fake because I think they're fake four stars. They have really no use. There's three stars that are better than these characters. You will just never, ever, ever use these characters at all. Like, I think maybe like Onsen Aqua might have the most use just because she's a sub trait, but like. I don't think I've ever used any of these characters for a sub trait besides OG Wiz and Onsen Aqua. Other than that, they're just, they're just not, just you want to use these. The bad characters, if you don't have any other option, you can use them, but they generally either just don't do anything for the team or just don't do damage regardless. Um, I know that a lot of these characters have status skills and status skills aren't good. The boss resists them. You can hit some bosses with some like blind or paralysis, but most of the time they are either immune or not effective, or you just don't even hit the skill anyway. And it sucks. I wish status effects were a lot better in this game, but they just aren't good. Won't use our characters that you could see some use a bit more than the bad characters. I've actually used a lot of these characters. Um, Rin is up there for one reason only. I feel like she should be in bad because she's not as good as the three star, but I feel like you can use her anyway. Um, personally, I don't hate her as much as it seems other people do, um, but she's kind of really just irrelevant because I don't even run uh, Dark Rin, the three star, anymore on Dark, so she just doesn't want to use. I have used Mitsuru the Mitsurugis a bit. I'm using the Aru right now, ironically. So even though this is won't use, I, I do use some of these units sometimes if the needs arise, but I'd rather just not. Um, this Cecily right here is good on JP, but not for us when she gets good. Um, I'll move her, I guess. I don't know if that's already happening, but I, I think it was when Legendary Aru came out, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I have to double check with the Cecily. But other than that, we're going to go on to OK. So OK and good are characters that you are probably going to be using on your team. Um, the only difference between good and OK is the OK characters are closer to just not being used than the good characters, really. Um, in a sense, they could be just like won't use and bad are just some characters are slightly better and don't deserve to be in the same tier. Pretty much the same thing with this one. 
a couple um, ones that catch my eye are characters such as um, what was it? Lightning Chris, the snow one. I know I've seen a couple people use her in the back end of Lightning Arena. Um, Amy still has like one use like you might use her with overlord she has even less use so she's probably closer to being and won't use than the other characters characters in the good tier such as komeko are still good because like legendary megami is really good um light ren is still pretty useful the pj mia is really good in story um i still use the um what should i call it the dark aru in dark of course, she's also getting closer to being an okay. Unfortunately, due to a, the quick arrival of a bunch of limited units, irises are just always good in the back. Just, you know, come out and do some damage. But overall, that's pretty much it. I don't really have too much to talk about this tier list. Um, just because I talked about it, you know, in depth in my Overlord video. So if you want, you know, explanation, it's mostly the same thing in that one. But if you want to check that one out, go ahead. But this is the tier list for Festival Chris. If you have any questions, concerns, all that stuff, let me know in the comments. Um, so we're getting around to all that. Um, but yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Tomorrow should either be Beginner's Guide or Fest Chris Showcase slash, you know, teams for her. Um, so one of those. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next kind of super video.